Your background before you got into cannabis was real estate and finance. And when I first read that, I, I just kind of laughed because I've met so many entrepreneurs who came to weed from either real estate or finance or some combination of both. Sure. And I wanted to ask you why you think that is. Is there something about working in real estate or finance that like better preps you or puts you in a position that to invest in marijuana or to move over? Well, absolutely. I mean, if you look at commercial real estate prices in the last uh, rental rental rates per square foot, the cannabis industry has saved Denver, if you will. I mean, the vacancy <laughs> the vacancy rates in two thousand it certainly helps with commercial real estate. Uh, yeah, yeah, for me, up the buildings. And for me, it was more ironic. I was actually holding on to a warehouse and that we couldn't rent it out. And and this is one of the oh. first warehouses I had in two thousand nine and this was an option that happened and we you know it was very hard in the beginning you'd go meet with lawyers and be like can you really do this you sh sure we could you know put so weed you in these had plants the warehouse i had different warehouses i've i've been in the industry a lot since the beginning but sure. uh, my first warehouse i eventually sold um was a property that i had in real estate and it oh. was yeah so and was, you grew in it eventually we grew in it yeah right at the time when we were really scrambling to figure out what we were going to do with it because the uh, the market was so bad. <laughs> but is there anything else about being in those two industries that really positions you to succeed in legal cannabis, another highly regulated industry? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's why. I mean, in you know, obviously in banking and in real estate and finance, uh, we come from a world of very high and heavy regulations. So uh, systematically, it's it's interesting in, in Denver specifically because you've watched that you watch an industry start and then regulations come about. So we were all kind of catching up and going as you know the regulations were made but um, it really gave us uh, it gave me and some of my other partners that come from similar backgrounds uh, an edge up on really understanding the cannabis space and um, how to plan for it and as you mentioned I mean cannabis is a real estate play whether you're talking about the commercial space you need to grow but also, I mean, eventually maybe like a retail space if you're on that side of the business. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have history in real estate, does that help you score a very lucrative, uh, very centrally located uh, store shop uh, location? It certainly helps you in the wheeling and dealing, which is tough because obviously landlords like anybody else are going to have, you know, they're high on the prize. They know they can get as much as they can out of <laughs> showing the money. Yeah, exactly. Out of cannabis tenants. So you have to have a good uh, negotiating prowess to be able to even get in the door with a lot of these people, because from our industry, you have people from all different backgrounds and some landlords won't take you seriously. But the second I can mention, I'm, I have a real estate background. I'm in finance. I already own some properties. Um, They'll, they'll continue the conversation and you know get a showing and, and do things that help us. Fascinating. Out. I think it's cool. And, and I don't know, I think I could see this turning into a story that I'll write in the next couple months.